Hi folks, well, we have completed the broom handle guitar, done everything but put the electrics in, that's going to be uh, a next stage I think. Um, I felt um, it was important just to get the thing working, so that it works as an instrument, and the whole point of having this kind of resonator was that it would work acoustically, and it certainly works acoustically. You get plenty of noise, plenty of volume out of this quality street tune, who would have thought that eh? Um, not bad for what was probably two to three hours work, took a lot less time than I thought. Um, but anyway, they say the proof of the pudding is in the eating, or the proof of the guitar is in the playing. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm not the world's best slide player, so I don't know what it's going to sound like. Apologies if the playing isn't up to scratch. I certainly need to practice, but um, we're going to have fun doing it. So let's give it a go and see what it sounds like. I also haven't put the... Uh, the fret markers on the neck yet. I know we don't have frets on this, but it's normal to, to mark out roughly where they would be so you know um, where the, the first, fourth, and fifth chords are, etc. Um, etc. Et Let's give it a go. So, I hope you agree with me that that sounds pretty good for what is essentially an old broom and an old sweet tin. Um, if you've not had a go making something like this yourself, have a go, it's great fun. Um, fun to make, fun to play, and you don't need to be a, a massively amazing musician to kind of get some noise out of it, really. Um, this won't be the last one I make. There, there'll be many, many more, I'm pretty sure, because they, they're great fun to do. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and make sure you have a nice day.